Hi there, I'm Michael Legiblin with FiddlerShop.com and today I'm going to be your tour guide through all the Holstein violin replicas. There's a lot of ground to cover so I'm going to try to move quickly, but what you need to know is that there are three levels of instruments. We have traditional, workshop, and bench level instruments. And now you can expect the sound quality to improve as we move up the levels. And that's because of three main reasons. The first is that the quality of wood is much higher, much finer at the higher levels. Whether that means that the wood is denser, aged longer, is just a more beautiful uh, wood to begin with. Look, I'm not a lumberjack, but basically uh, the better woods are selected carefully for the higher level instruments. The second reason for the differences in quality is how many luthiers work on each instrument. It's kind of like how many cooks are in the kitchen at a time. For a traditional level violin, there's a small team, usually three to five luthiers, that work on the same violin. A workshop level violin is going to have one luthier who works on the main construction of the instrument, and then a second luthier that varnishes and does the antiquing, all that fun stuff. And a bench level violin is one luthier from start to finish, does everything, and can really pay more attention to every fine detail. So that was the levels, and within each level there are a handful of replicas. You might be confused and thinking, what's with all the weird names like Swal and Il Canone and Vuitton? And basically, these are nicknames for some of the most famous violins throughout history. Out of all the, the hundreds of years of violin making and millions of violins that have been made, there's just a handful that have achieved rock star level status, either because they sound like the voice of an angel or they were played by a really famous violinist, and usually both are true. And so the super nerds got a hold of them and recorded every measurement of length and thickness and curvature, and they took uh, x-rays and CT scans and frequency analysis, and they took pictures of the pigments of colors and the uh, every blemish of when the drunk violinist, you know, opened the case and the violin fell out. And they recorded all this stuff. And all this information has been invaluable to modern makers who seek to replicate these most famous violins. <laughs> some sweeping generalizations about the tonal characteristics of each violin, but before you sharpen your pitchforks, I've got some disclaimers following. But in general, the Guarneri's, Maginis, and Amati replicas tend to be a little darker, a little warmer, while the Strad template ones tend to be just a little brighter. I think this graph is a great way to visualize the tonal properties of all the replicas in one place. You can see the Lord Wilton, Magini, Canone, even the Plowden, tend to be on this warmer, richer, deeper, darker side of the graph, while the Chrysler, David, Amati, even the Panette and Stradivarius are more well-balanced, and they have a wide uh, tonal range, you might say. And some of the more focused ones are the Swal and the Red Mendelssohn. And I don't really like making generalizations like that because there's a lot of variables that go into the sound of an instrument. There's the instrument itself, sure, but there's strings and bow and bridge and sound post placement and you. And all those things can make a big difference and you can adjust the sound of your violin quite a lot. But also because perception is different for every person. I, for instance, don't think jalapenos are that spicy, but you might think that they're unbearably spicy. And just as well, I might think an instrument is warm and deep and luscious and you might think that it sounds cloudy and muddy and vice versa. The replicas are really a description of their physical and aesthetic properties and not the best predictor of their tonal properties. The best way to judge the sound of the instruments is to hear them played back to back. If you can't come to our shop to play the instruments yourself, give us a call and we'll set up a video demonstration so you can hear the actual instruments that you'll receive played back to back so you can hear for yourself the tonal qualities of each instrument. We look forward to serving you in that capacity. Thanks so much for watching this and we look forward to seeing you at fiddlershop.com. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. 
Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-